Hello everybody and welcome back to another Sims 4 house build. This is a continuation of the first part um, sort of build for my lighthouse based on inspiration from the movie um, Aquaman. It's the exterior was to look like the Aquaman lighthouse and now I'm just working on the interior. So starting off in the kitchen and we've got a it's going to look like an old country kitchen with a lot of parenthood cupboards, basically. Um, like I've said in previous videos, because there's not very many cupboards in them, I like to mix island counters with the actual regular countertop. So one wall is lined with island counters and the other one is lined with normal cupboards. Um, a lot of drawer space, a lot of storage space in this house for the kitchen. Love a big, like, you know, spacious kitchen, my kitchen currently only has a few cupboards. I had to get a pantry shelf in my kitchen because there wasn't enough storage space for all my stuff. So yes, I did mention in the first video that I was going to be adding some more windows and I've just added them there. And now we're moving on to the dining room. So it was a really quick kitchen, just a normal long galley kitchen. I do go in a little bit later and add some more decor to it, but that was just the basics. I was just like, get the basics out, then hunt for things to put in it. Uh, this fireplace made me a little bit worried because I know that carpets do catch on fire. So I kind of had to shift the room slightly, even though I wanted it to be, uh, nice and, uh, flat and, and like sort of central table in the kitchen. I didn't want the carpet catching on fire. So instead of putting a big carpet in, I went with a smaller one. And now I'm just trying to find a fireplace that looks nicer with those tiles, um, because I wanted to do like a little tile instead of the wood. Here I am readjusting it because I really liked that carpet and I thought it was really cute, but I knew that it would catch fire if it was too close to the fireplace. So I shifted everything over, even though I wanted to keep the table center of the room. Didn't want that carpet to catch on fire. I'm not even sure if it still will catch on fire. It might. Cause I know the fireplaces are very, very finicky like that. Um, Worst case, put a little gate around it, like a fireplace sort of thing. Like normally fireplaces have like a gate over them so people can't touch stuff and embers can't fly out, but uh, not this one. <coughs> Sorry, uh, my throat's a little, a little raspy. I don't know. So now I'm trying to find some curtains and it's, it's difficult, but I end up finding curtains that I like the color of. They match the carpet, but they don't really match the windows. Like they don't line up. So I end up using a little uh, moving around to get them to fit nicely. Here I am just like searching through all the plaques for uh, carpets that match sort of that, you know, elegant interior where I didn't have to use like little, little moving hacks to get to line up the way I wanted to. And then I decide, yeah, I'm just going to have to use the moving hacks to line them up because I couldn't find a single tile one that matched the other windows. Like it looked fine separated like that, but I couldn't find one to match that inner window. So I just decided to use the moving hacks and I leave it like that. So some of them are kind of drawn, some of them are completely closed and I think it works out in the end. Now just putting some very fancy, fancy photos. I'm looking for something to put in that corner cause it looks a little empty and I end up moving the China hutch there instead. And then replacing that area with plants because this house has so much greenery. I, I love it. Uh, realistically, if like you lived in a house like that, that would be like a full-time job watering all these plants. Um, but it's fine. It is fine. It is great. It is good. And then I put like a little end table there. There's a lot of like end table wall tables in this house to, to fill up sort of the, the space, make it look like a real home. I did go a little nuts with the decorating in this house, but uh, I like it. And then I kind of got lazy towards the decorating the bedrooms and they kind of just sort of started looking the same. And then I tried so hard to make them all look different. Um, yeah. So now I'm finding my uh, signature kitchen stuff pack so I can put it on the walls. Realized uh, I couldn't do the normal thing that I do where I cap those ends off with the spice rack and the cutting board. But it's fine. It's fine. Here I am doing that. Uh, more decorating, moving stuff around, shifting it. Making this look like a real home, like someone actually lives here and they just left that stuff on the counter. Uh, that is pet food up there, but I didn't put anything for a dog. There's no dog houses, are there? 
I didn't see any when I was looking for them, and I can't remember if there are. It's been so long since I've played with, with like an actual pet in the house because I find them just so hard to take care of when I do end up playing. They they need so much love and attention, and it's really hard to like, you know, do all the stuff you want to do and take care of a pet somewhat in real life. You know, I don't know. My cat's pretty like. I have a beautiful kitty. Um, she's my display picture on YouTube. So, uh, she's such a little ham. She loves. She loves posing so cute for pictures, so I take a lot of photos of her. But she usually does her own thing. Every now and again, she'll bring me a hair tie to play with her. She likes to play fetch with hair ties, and I have little mice that she keeps losing and hiding. And I thought that was really cute. I kind of wanted it to be under the table, but I didn't want to change the side of it. So I just shifted the table over and put some other plants underneath there. Oh, no, I put boxes, which turned out really nice. I'm taking a sip of coffee because I need to wake up. I'm so tired today, you know? Um, speaking of being tired, I don't think I can keep this upload schedule because I'm struggling to make it work because I do work and um, I have two jobs. I do warehouse work and I also do concept art. So when I'm home, I'm either playing video games or I'm working for concept art and it's just difficult to juggle that and doing this, which isn't a job at all. So this is a hobby and I don't want to burn myself out on a hobby. Uh, if you're wondering why I have so many sofas in there, I'm trying to find like a nice sofa set to go to in this room. And then I end up just putting two big cushions, uh, sofas instead of a love seat. I'm just like, this room's big enough. Like why not make it a super cozy, lots of seating area, lots of places for you to lounge around. So, my upload schedule will be a little bit different starting, yeah, I think starting next week. I won't put up any videos on the weekend. I'll give myself time to stockpile some videos. And then I will, um, I think, do three videos a week. I think I can pump out three videos a week. That shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but, like, lately I've been doing a lot of house builds that are massive. Like, this is going to be a 23-minute video. Um, it's massive. And it took just as long to make, so I'm either going to like just do three videos a week or limit myself, but I really wanted to build bigger, more, you know, prettier things. So yeah, uh, three videos a week for sure, maybe more, but for sure I'll do three videos a week. As for what days, probably like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Because that's a nice spaced out and it gives me the weekend to either stockpile footage or stockpile editing. Uh, here we have an office and I really wanted like a wraparound bookcase in this room because it's the, uh, it's the lighthouse portion of the house. But I didn't like the gaps it was leaving and there was no way I could slide bookcases into each other. Well, not these bookcases into each other. So I was trying to raise shelves up, but... I didn't, I didn't like it. It was clipping through the walls a little. And even if I adjusted it, it was clipping through the bookcases. So I wasn't too fond of it. So I ended up not using those bookshelves and going for the, um, the bookshelves that really don't have any detail on them. They're literally just books. And while I love the colors of the books there, because it's very different. Um, and like, they all have so much different tones. Like there's blues and reds and yellows. The other bookshelves literally only have blue books and uh, the other colorings of this, I should say. And I didn't want to just have blue books. Sorry, my cat's doing something and I'm trying to look around. So if I, my voice sounds like it's fading away. So I was going to try like, cause I could match a desk to that wood tone real easy and that one too. But like I said, they're all blue. So I decided to just go with whatever wood tone I want for this room. There's multiple different wood tones. Kitty, could you not? What are you doing? I don't know what she's doing, but um, I hear her digging at something. You got to watch them kitties. Don't want her eating my wires because she loves to chew things. But yeah. So putting in a little chess table, this is going to be a very fancy office area. Uh, don't know why. <laughs> I just felt like it felt nice in this room. And we had so much space and it, it's so light that I could put in dark tones. And then I go for those chairs because they match the sofa. Where is this cat? I hear her. I can't see her. That's dangerous. And then I use all these paintings from the um, pets pack. 
Um, it's literally all one painting, but there are different recolors. And um, I thought that would give like a nice nautical feel to this house because it is a lighthouse. It's on, it's on an island, um, not on a beach, because I didn't think this type of lighthouse would look good in Solani just because that's a more island feel, whereas this is a more like colonial settlement rather than that. I didn't like that space there. I didn't know what to do with it. So I was gonna shift the door over so I can make more of a living space. But then I just turned it into like a kid's play area with a giant like castle toy. I was gonna turn it into another seating area and I'm like, why? That's useless. Let's make it a functional part of the house. I normally just chuck that up against a wall because space-wise it's really nice, but I really like the back. It reminds me of the Notre Dame um, church with that, you know, glass window. Um, so I just, I wanted it to stick out and, you know, you could see it and it would be nice. Uh, I had a lot of trouble because I didn't really want any plumbing up against that stone wall. Because, like, in my mind, that stone wall wouldn't be plumbable. Like, you, you can't... A toilet up against it is one thing because the toilet feeds through the floor. That makes sense. But for pipes to run up that wall, you'd have to just demolish the wall and run the pipes through it. I doubt they were there on the outside of the lighthouse that this house has been built onto. So I didn't want anything there, so I just slap a mirror. This is all um, Jungle Adventure stuff. I do tend to... <laughs> I, I, I seem to be doing, like, a lot where I just... I'll pick a pack and I'll build a room with that pack. And that seems to be like what I've been doing lately. So like if you ever download the house and you don't have a certain pack, there'll just be an empty room. Oh, she's trying to get in her cage. The door has closed. She's got like a little carrier that we keep down so she can hide in there whenever she's feeling a little too overwhelmed with company that we have and stuff like that. And she's like trying to open the door because it's closed on her. <laughs> oh, my kitty's so cute. Maybe I'll throw a photo in, in of her just at the end of this video. She's a beautiful calico. I also wanted a rug there because that room, that floor felt a little, a little cold, a little empty. Um, but I didn't know it's such an odd shape, like with the jutting in from the stairs and the, the side, the sliding, uh, slide, the, the slanted door. Gosh, my mouth not working. And I also wanted to fill it up, make it look like a kid has actually played here. So I used like the kids clutter and stuff like that, which is really neat kids clutter, but it worked there because it's all on the rug. And now I'm just going to chuck in some lights. I end up going with like, I was going to do those candle chandeliers, but I'm like, that's, that's too old school. Let's just go with some normal, like country sort of fancy chandeliers. Oh, she managed to get in her little hole. Um, maybe she doesn't like me talking. <laughs> I know whenever I like start singing, she comes up and she's like, are you okay? And she'll like lick my hand. Like, uh, you don't sound all right. <laughs> Um, some of the parts in this house are really dark, but I didn't want to add too many lights because I felt like, you know, dark should be dark. Some rooms can, can be dark and it's not terrible. Like a, like a bathroom always has to be well lit, but like a bedroom or a living room that can be a little dark. I mean, you want to watch movies in the dark and you want to sleep in the dark. So those are okay to be dark. And then I was thinking about using these lights and I'm like, you know what? These lights are boring every room to have these lights so I grabbed the kids stuff light for the kids bedroom and I continue the uh, chandeliers for that bedroom because the green went nice with the walls and I was gonna put a modern light in there but I'm like no this is still an old house it's still got to have an old light um, so originally I was gonna do a toddler's room and then I'm like nah man just kids stuff pack everything in that room it's a very long and narrow room just like the kitchen so I didn't fit too much detail into it, but it's got everything a kid could need. It's got a dresser, mirror, bookcase. Of, I'd say somewhere between a kid and a teen. I seem to make bedrooms that are more like that, where they're just, they're not quite children, but they're not quite teenagers yet. It's, it's getting on the way to teenager room. So there's still like toys around, but you know, it's fancier. And then I also really wanted like a carpet all on the floor here because kids kids make a lot of noise and if you have carpet down then you know it sort of drums out the noise of like the above the the kitchen dining area and this is going to be like a I, I guess a guest bedroom because it's not quite the master it doesn't have the ensuite like the other room does um so I just put in a desk 
a bed, um, you know, a, you know, cupboard. So it's going to be like a, a guest room or like a grandparents room, something like that. And I give it a mix between like these uh, sort of peach colored walls and brown tones and blue tones. Uh, it's a really weird room where they just like got a bunch of different furniture throughout the years and just put the stuff that they wanted to keep in this room. It's like a, a found furniture room. Nothing quite matches, but nothing really clashes, which is the most important part. Put a little little sitting chair because you can just you know throw your clothes on it when you're you're looking for what you're gonna wear. So I try to add more lamps to it to brighten up the room again because it looked a little bit too dark. Even though it's daytime outside, there's only two windows in that room at the end of it. So. Uh, and I had this huge master bedroom, which I didn't know what to do. So I, I divided it into two rooms. One's like a huge fancy dressing room. And the other one is the actual bedroom part. And now I'm doing the family bathroom. Well, I have been doing it for a while. Uh, now I'm just putting in the decorations for it. A uh, little towel rack for the toilet paper roll. A uh, little more towel racks for like drying your hands, you know, by the sink. You need a little sink. And I, I was like, I don't like that lamp, so I'm just going to put in the regular ceiling lamp. The, uh, what are the pot lights? But I guess it's it's a little too big to be considered a pot light. Because pot lights are usually smaller, like the little halogen things. I really wanted to scale that up, but it, it didn't, it, it kind of blurred a little and it wasn't fitting right. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just cap it off with pictures on the end and it'll fit across that wall quite nicely. Oh yeah, I made a cut here because I had to do other stuff. <laughs> um... I totally forgot that I wasn't going to put any plumbing up against that stone wall, but it looked good there, so we're not going to talk about it anymore. Maybe they ran the pipes up through the floor. It'll be easier with the floor. And the bathroom's right below it, so it's not completely impossible to just run the pipes right up, you know? Got to think about that. Uh, yeah, so you can tell I definitely <laughs> made a cut there because I just had to re-enter the cheat I was using before. So yeah, this room is way bigger and I didn't want to just do another office because there's there's an office downstairs. Each of the rooms has a desk. Like I didn't want it I don't want them to all look the same. So I end up just splitting the room in half and you've got to walk through like a beautiful closet to get to the bedroom and you got to walk through the beautiful closet to go to the bathroom. So it was a, yeah, I was just like, ah, another desk, not feeling it, not feeling another study. Um but I also do put like a nice lounging space in here where you can, there's a nice sofa. You can check all your clothes on it while you're searching through the big, like I put two interior shelves, uh, interior cupboards, but the colors do the stay the same. Like I, I don't change the uh, wall color or anything between the rooms. Uh, it's literally two rooms beside each other. And I was going to put the d dresser in there, but I'm like, no, 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 the dresser, the dresser can stay in the bedroom. Like, that's his stuff, and this will be her stuff. I, although, I think my boyfriend tends to use more closet space than I do. Like, he's got the bedroom closet, and I just have a dresser, because he likes to hang a lot more of his clothes than I do. I've just got a bunch of, you know, band t-shirts and gaming t-shirts. I don't really care. Like, <laughs> they can just go wherever they want. And this is the room where I use nothing but luxury, um, what is it, vintage living stuff or what, what is that? The, the stuff pack, like the, the vintage glamour, vintage glamour, that's it. It's it's all vintage glamour, so like if you, if you don't have that pack, this room's going to be empty. Even the walls are not going to be painted because that wallpaper is exactly from vintage glamour. Uh, there will also be that light there because that's, that's base game light. I really wanted like a, a carpet that stretched across this room, but you knew it was a carpet rather than like the kids room. It looks like you put in the carpet, um, uh, but I couldn't find one. So I just put that nice circular rug in the middle of the room and I think it looks fantastic. Just put in some decoration. Some of these rooms I decorated a little bit more than others. I think I kind of just like was working, trying to get this done um, so that I can edit it <laughs> and have the video. I think this one's going up on Friday. Yeah, Friday. Because Tuesday was Human Fall Flat. Wednesday was the first one. Oh, so this one will be going up on Thursday, which means I still have to make a video for Friday. And then next week, it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be the videos up. And that'll be the, the schedule that I tend to keep. So the ensuite. So this could be a, like a secondary master bedroom. 
I tend to think like master bedrooms should be at the top of the stairs, like the first ones you hit off a landing, just because like in the events of like a burglary, you want the kids' room as far away from the entrance as possible so that they don't get hurt. That's just how my mind works. I don't know if it's real, and I realize I reused that painting from the bathroom in that room as well. And this one can be another bedroom. Um, this is the potential fifth bedroom, but I turned it into an art studio. And I wanted to make those work, but they felt a little too big. Um, so I just, yeah, I turned it into a, um, a painter studio. And it took me a while to find those little things that come from rewards of the painting career. Because they're just so cute, and I wanted them all in here. They're nice. They're just, even the paintings on them, I wish they were real paintings in The Sims. Because it's just really nice. And then I got to throw down a tarp, painter's tarp, you know so that it all looks good and this bathroom I realized was a little oddly shaped I'm not a hundred percent sure if that bathtub will work I did not test it but if it doesn't I'm sorry <laughs> and you can make it work somehow I don't know but good luck <laughs> and then up here we put another seating area slash greenhouse I'm like there's so many windows here oh no I forgot to put a giant light in there it is a lighthouse oh well it's fine. I think I just left the original lights because it was getting pretty late and some friends wanted to play some video games and I'm like, oh damn. Oh damn. I was going to put a flower arranging station, but it didn't make sense to me to be all the way at the top of the, the, the uh, lighthouse. It, that's something that you would put on a first floor. I mean, sure, there's plants in here, but like there's not enough to do an entire fl flower arranging career up here. So yeah, just putting some stuff. There's a fruit bowl up there. You know, it's a long way down. You might get hungry. Grab an apple. <laughs> and I just literally load this place up with, like, different plants. And I kind of wanted, didn't want to reuse too many. Like, that one that's downstairs in the lobby. I remembered it was there. So I'm like, ugh. But then there are some that are kind of just, like, interchangeable. Like, that tree over there. It goes everywhere because I just love it. And I think that's about it. Oh, no. Patio patio forgot about the patio i just made like a small patio uh this video is actually gonna be longer than uh 23 minutes and 40 seconds because i forgot again to put the screenshots before i started my voice recording to know how long i needed to talk through <laughs> uh so i'm gonna have to just start talking random stuff uh, been outside also uh i did mention this in the first video but like for some reason all my painting of the terrain just disappeared. Don't know why, but it, it wasn't there when I when I went back in to do the decoration. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I t painted the terrain. So I end up having to repaint the terrain. Um, and I hope it stays this time. Uh, this, uh, this build will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. I will leave a link down below or you can search it by searching Stephanie Red, same as it is on YouTube. You can search it there under my origin ID uh, or is it EA ID? I don't know. Yeah, and I realized that when I flipped this place, the giant tree in the back went away. So we're just going to do some landscape painting again. <laughs> um, and just, just, that's it. Just a little swing in the back. Uh, I'd recommend, you know, add in some more kid stuff. I really was looking for a doghouse. I'm pretty sure there's a doghouse. I remember there being a doghouse. But yeah, I'd put the doghouse in the back and a bowl of food in the back for the dog. Um, but with Seasons, I haven't played with pets in Seasons yet. No idea what's going to do that. Like, that's how long it's been since I've played with pets in the game. Because I played a lot with them when they were new, and then that was it. So... That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed building this house, even though it was kind of tedious and took a long time. But I did enjoy it, and I do enjoy building houses. That's why I'm doing this. Um, so next video will be up on, obviously, Friday we'll have a video. And then after that, there'll be one Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And that'll be it. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Wow. Subscribe if you want to <laughs> and have a great day.